Yo! Alright, so let me tell you what happened. I ordered a desktop, I got the desktop, I used it for a while, and I didn't like it, and it wasn't what I was expecting. There was a return option on Amazon, and they said I could send the package back. So what I did, I clicked the little button that said return package or get a refund or something like that, because I'm curious, and I was like, okay, maybe if I get a refund, I'll just send it back. Screw it, why not? I got all my files off of it, put it on my laptop, and then I sent it back. Three months later, it never got there, so I called them, and then I said send it back to me. So they're returning it to me, and then... I keep calling them and they say return it to me and it's been a month and it still hasn't come back so I called again after like the sixth time of calling them and what they did was they said they lost my package. Look at this! Like, how in the world do you manage to lose a 20 pound package? That is your job. You have one job and you can't even do it right. Like here, okay? Let me tell you what I think happened. This is what I think happened. Saw my freaking package! I don't know this for sure, but I really feel like somebody just saw my package lying around. I was just like, hey, this hasn't done anything for about three months now. Let me just, oh, whoa, this is pretty heavy. I wonder if it has something good in it. Oh, I'm just gonna take it home. Oh my god, there's a desktop in there. I'm gonna take it, okay? Great. And what I do is I don't think anything's gonna go wrong. So I don't buy the insurance to get covered if the package gets lost. But now I'm just completely screwed over. I can show you what UPS did to me. This is me! How do you do that to somebody? Come on, UPS, you have one job. Your only job is to ship things, okay? You don't have anything else to do but ship things. And you can't even do it right. From now on, you know, I'm not even shipping with you guys anymore. I'm about to go FedEx. Like, screw you guys. You guys didn't even help me. And so what I did was I put on Twitter, I said, you guys had one job. And then they tweeted back at me with help. A help support tweeted back at me. And what I did was I called the company. The lady I was talking to, she said, Hey, your package is lost. You're probably not going to get it back. Okay, lady. Thanks for the freaking blunt answer. You're very great and very helpful. I'm so happy that you actually helped me. You are the real MVP. What I don't really understand is how you lose a 20-pound package. It was literally in a box that was this big. How do you lose that? And it's 20 freaking pounds. And I guarantee you that probably what they do is they throw around the packages like they don't even care because it doesn't matter unless you put the little fragile sticker over. But then again, I guarantee you they still somehow find a way to mess it up when you freaking put the fragile sticker on because they still mess it up. You are a multi-billion dollar company and you lose my packet. Come on. It's not like I needed it. Like, oh, no, I didn't need it. I wasn't going to make videos on that desktop. It's not like I had Photoshop Sony Vegas on that desktop and I was looking forward to getting back so I could make more videos. No, I needed it. But what do you guys guys do? You freaking lost it. You guys literally have one job and you can't do it right. Who runs for freaking operations? Uh, yeah, we have to ship a package out and, uh, we're gonna be shipping it to California and we're gonna need to get it there in one week. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna go take a little nap. I'll see you guys later. Like, really? Who actually manages shipping out all your packages? I'm honestly over it. I'm probably never gonna see the package again. It's lost. It's gone. It's, it's not coming back. There's a better chance that a Kim Kardashian will be smart before I get my freaking package. Oh! This package is literally more lost than a blind man on the beach. Not to mention, desktop itself was $100 and I paid $30 of shipping and they weren't even giving me the full price back, so I just lost basically $130. Go on, it's gone. You know how many Ethiopian children we can offend with that? I'm honestly sick and tired of it. I'm over you, UPS. I'm shipping FedEx from now on. So yeah, you guys can suck it.